Hey everybody, Von here with a brand new Let's Play Rayman Origins for the PC, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. If you're looking to get a copy of this game, you can easily get it off of Steam. Anyway, uh, I've been. This is the winner of the two. I'm gonna start a new game. Enjoy the opening here. I won't talk to you on it. Although it looks really cool. Very interesting graphics, I will say that. Rayman is a really fun game. I I love the Rayman series. <laughs> the broom. <laughs> Using the broom to hit it. Yeah, it doesn't phase anybody. I guess all the baddies are going to come up and <laughs> take the skull. <laughs> yeah, it's only until he sees the skull that he realizes, uh oh. <laughs> there was a skull. <laughs> Who's kicking whose ass? Uh, I guess we just found out. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to Rayman Origins, like I said. Uh, we are going to... bust out of this cage in a few seconds. Yeah, let's do that now. Okay. I guess, yeah, we'll rescue you. We'll rescue you by pulling on the tail. And let's go over this way. So if we go over this way... There's really not much over there right now. Magic hat. Alas, we're going. And then that guy comes out. So, I'm not too familiar with this game as much. Um, with this particular Rayman game, I will be doing Legends at after, well, not right after, but later on. Uh, back to the Glade of Dreams. So yeah, I'm really going to enjoy doing this game. Um, it looks like it's going to be the snowing trees where we're already too. Now, I'm not going to be 100%ing this LP, and sometimes I may actually suck at certain levels. Like I said, this LP is going to be, a, mo a lot of it is going to be blind. It's a jungle out there, hence the name of the game, and video. <laughs> That's why I named the video after, named the video from this level. Oh, look at the castle kind of background there. It's pretty cool. Let me out. Oh, uh, yeah, you can skip these kind of scenes, but I won't be skipping those scenes. Any kind of cutscenes or anything like that, I will be showing. Uh, it's you can die in this game, but it's it can be hard to uh, pretty much getting crushed or lo losing health or something like that, um, falling in a pit that you're not supposed to fall in, things like that. Uh, pretty much any kind of like almost any kind of classic platforming game. Uh, so we gotta rescue her now. This geyser should help us. Um, uh, so you can pick up these Nerotani bugs and all that, and you give them points, these red ones can give you some points, uh, and give you towards extra lives, ah, oh, I wasn't fast enough, woohoo, oh, almost totally flew over, so just jump on it and rescue her, bravo, So the animation in this game is so cool. So now we got an attack. Pretty much uh, kick and punch attack. So what you want to do is the 1 plus X button to attack. Now I do believe you can change the controls in this game. Obviously I am not doing that. And what we have to do now is hit these green blocks here. And get out. 
take this wall down. And here we go. So let's continue on. So these guys and people here now are just pretty much punch and kick them or jump on their head. If you jump on their head, they will inflate and then float to the top and eventually burst and die. While they're floating to the top, if you want to punch and kick them to kill them faster, you can. I probably will demonstrate that too. Punching that blue plant, got rid of those spike guys, and like I said, one of those ladies was just, you know, inf uh, inflated there, and all you had to do, oh yeah, that's why I gotta punch this. Um, pick the platform. Forgot about that. Uh, doing that was probably not the best idea because I just released some spikes. Um, but that's okay. Uh, now, if I really want to, I could try to get that skull coin. I'm probably going, like I said, I'm not going to really win 100% this game. Um, as Grotus was telling me, um, well, as Grotus was telling me about this, he's in World 4 and he said he's on 100% it so far. Up to World 4, he's playing it casually, and he said uh, he doesn't recommend it unless you really have patience and you really want to take the time to do it. Uh, me, I'm not really in the 100% every platform. Ooh, I got hit by that missile and it killed me. <laughs> yeah, it's not one hit kills, obviously. Um, but that was not cool. Some punch and kick combos. You will gain other abilities in this game. Um, Swing on this vine and kick this guy's ass. So yeah, pretty much all you have to do is punch the locks off. And that's it. Smiley face. Depending on how many creatures you save. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you go like 50 or 100, 150 now. Later on I think it gets a little bit higher than that. Um, if you get up to 150, obviously, I would have gotten the gold. Oh, I got all three. So that's cool. So let's move on to... Back to the Blade of green, uh, Dreams, I should say. And I guess let's take on... Um, now, I'm not going to finish and do a world per video. I'm just going to do 15, 20 minute videos, give or take. And uh, take a minute. So guys are blowout. Um, so this is a really fun game. The Rain Man series is, um, is very cool. Uh, I believe this game is out for other systems too, but obviously I'm playing the Steam version. They help a uh, packed with energy. Okay. So yeah, you can wall kick. Uh, we're gonna have to hit this thing to get the geyser and get the land to go down a bit. Uh, to get all these creatures, you're going to have to use the geysers. Uh, we have to go back and get that guy. Well, we don't have to, but we will. Um, pretty much, those guys are easy. Now, I will try to get that one. Uh, just watch out for the hands. They remind me of, like, was it Four Masters? Yeah, Four Masters and Zelda. The only difference is they're in water. Or maybe other Zelda enemies. I don't really know. Um, so, that's just to get a few more of these guys. I will be able to get you if I wall kick. There we go. Gotcha. And take out this eye. Yeah, so you gotta really have good timing for this. So I'm gonna just get these yellow guys. Like I said, not 100% in the g levels. I'm not 100% in the game. Uh, that's my choice. I could do it if I wanted to. It would probably take a long time to do. But I feel that it's not really necessary, which means some, if there is levels that have to be unlocked from 100% uh, like in our levels, then you might not get to see every level in the game. And unfortunately, I was not fast enough to get that coin there, uh, which is okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's try to get... Whoa. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I just want to see what kind of moves we can do. 
And there we go. Now we get 112. Yay! <laughs> so let's beat this up. I don't think this one rises. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, it does rise. Uh, hmm. I do believe there is something up there. Wall kick, wall kick, wall kick, wall kick. Ah, yes, there's a medallion. Or whatever the hell they're called. There we go. We did get some bone eye from there. So, yeah, if you want to hold one and R trigger, you can splint. I'm not worrying too much about the splinting, obviously. And there's another one that was up there. Whoa. It's just telling you to splint, and I guess if I splint, it would get rid of that trigger. But I'm not going to splint, I'm just going to take it slow. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Knock this guy out. Okay, here we come. So once again, we have some geysers. Okay, I guess it's all about timing. Ah, there we go. Got it. Uh, should I try to get that? No, I don't think I will. Um, uh, just to be on the safe side. I will get you guys, though. Oh, I forgot to press the jump button. Silly me. Forgot to press the jump button. Uh, platforming 101. When you go see your character is going to fall off a cliff, what do you do? You make sure you press the jump button so you don't fall off the cliff. And I did not do that. Uh, this all determines on timing. Uh, let's see if I can time this right. Uh, without falling in the freaking water. There we go. So, why did I jump back in the water? Why did I? See what I said? Well, just like the granny uh, characters, they will fall into the water. There we go. I think that's how the game is. Oh, okay, let's get it this time. I guess that's how the game really intends you to do it. Uh, I guess there is a way to get that. But I'm not really going to worry about it. Yeah, let's not worry about those two. There we go now. I'm not sure what that bottle is. I'm assuming if I go and break it by punching it. It probably give me some health. So now what we have to do here is pretty much we gotta defeat these enemies. And then we can beat this chest apart. And Ooh. Apparently I died. Like I said, I'll probably practice this more and more in between videos and a different save file. So that I know what's expected and that I won't. No, screw up as much. Best thing to do, I think, is honestly stay here in the geyser and do this. And let's break the locks. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And we got you. Perfect. So that's that level. The geyser level. See the going dance. What's the significance of him being behind that, uh, that picture. I wonder. So we never got the 300, but we did get the 150 at least. Um, yeah, we got 220. So we came close, but that's okay. Back to the Glade of Dreams. Obviously. So, we are going to continue on with Mortis. Um, with 20, if you have 25 smiles, you can unlock that. Uh, punching plateaus. But I'm not worrying about unlocking everything. Uh, I will try to unlock some stuff in the game. Not just do the main path, but uh, I'm not guaranteeing everything. So, let's continue on. So, I'm assuming if I... This, okay. Um... Gotta be a way to get down there. I'm assuming we can do some kind of air dive. Yes, sir. 
Ah, there we go. Looks like it's down in the down next button. Um. Should I go for that? Yeah, what the hell? Let's, I think we should. Uh, should we? Should we really? Yeah, we'll go for it. So just walk it. Perfect. So we'll do that. Um, you're gone. You're not going to hit me with whatever that is. I'm assuming a ruler. You're not hitting me with that. Put this down. <laughs> Into the pit you go. So now it's telling you how to do it, but I already figured it out, and I told you, like I said, press one and another button in the ear. So when you're in the in the ear, you pretty much press one and X, and you will crush. Do it. Do a ground pound, pretty much. Yeah, crush. So I've already explained how to do that before the game did because I've practiced a bit of this game. Um, uh, pretty much, yeah, let's do that. Uh, the platform will come back. Really, we don't need, oh, wait, what's that? That blew up, I guess. I'm guessing off that. And off there, okay. Let's defeat this. So that unlocks this guy that we can use as a platform, and if we wall kick... Uh, I'm assuming let's just go this way. Getting close to the door and actually punching it successfully would be a good idea, wouldn't don't you think, Theos? Uh, air dive. Oh, yeah. I say that's good enough there for you then. So I think once I finish this level, I'll stop the video. Uh, I'm assuming there's a coin up there. Yeah, there is. Uh, and wall kick up there onto this platform. And beat this down. Break the walls down. Chris Jericho's theme. Break the walls down. So, I guess swing on that. Some of the areas are very small, like in this case, I think we're close to the ending of the level of memory serves me. Now, you can do an up, an up attack too, by the way. Like that. Uh, let's beat you. Alright. Whoa! The four master toy pan almost got me. But it did not succeed. Now there is an easy way to get that. Uh, you had to time like wall kick and I just fucked it up. Uh, maybe, I don't think I'm going to go for it, to be honest. Um, it's not really, in the end, worth it. To be quite frank. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to worry about it. So yeah, now that DuckTales is over, that's like I said, you will see this LP, so that is cool. So, I'm going to really enjoy this. Um, I got a couple of votes and private messages on YouTube requesting this one and a couple for uh, the um, My Man Legends. The deciding vote, <laughs> funny enough, no one really knows this, but the deciding vote was actually LP Grotus' girlfriend. Um, he told me on Skype that he said, Oh, my girlfriend wants you to do uh, Rayman Origins. So, I had a tie at the time. And he was saying that she said, Oh, you should uh, do that. Well, that's what he told me. So, I... Yeah, I gotta kill all these guys. So, I figured... Take that request and do it. As for the Ask Me Anything 
Friday thing. Didn't get really any questions besides Cole, so I'm gonna think of something else to celebrate on my birthday for that. Maybe a live stream or something. Um, not too sure yet, but I will probably do something for it. That's my plan. Um, to do something for it. So, this level is done. Which is cool. And <laughs> we do our crazy new dance. He does a dance and Kirby does a dance. Which dance is better? I don't know. Kirby's is classic, but uh, Rayman has a cool dance too. So I'm not sure who has the better dance. You guys can decide that. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Does Rayman have a cool dance? Is it better than Kirby's? For those who know who Kirby is, if not, go check it out. And pretty much I'm going to let this load now and stop the video here. In the next part, we'll probably finish off this world. Maybe we can unlock something. Uh, so thanks for watching Rayman Origins Part 1. And I shall see you in the next part. Peace out.